Hello and welcome to WTD Concepts, where there is no sponsors, no monetization, no cool guy shooty shoot intros, and we're doing it for the love of the game. Um, if you own an AR, there is a 50% chance that you have a Sig Sauer Romeo 5 optic. Um, and there's a reason for that. Uh, this is probably the go-to budget optic uh, for most AR platforms. It's got good battery life. It has the shake awake and auto off function. Um, it's just a single dot. Uh, they're waterproof, I think up to like IP66 or something like that. Um, all around, just a decent optic, you know, comes with the, uh, I guess that's the one third height mount. Um, it's a pretty decent uh, budget optic. Uh, nothing special, um, but it gets the job done. Um, so I've been running this for two years now, and um, I've had a few problems with it. Uh, overall, a good sight, but uh, problem number one, um, one of my turret caps uh, came off. So I'll see if I can show the camera this. But those little guys right there that help you uh, change your windage and elevation. Um, so I had this guy's brother uh, fall off. Um, and so that stinks. Um, I hadn't sighted in in a while. Uh, you know, it was just doing its thing. I guess it vibrated off from a uh, recoil. Uh, so that was number one. Number two, I used to store this sight uh, with the lens cap on. I don't know, thinking it'd be good to protect the glass. Um, but it always annoyed me the fact that, I mean, there's a low likelihood that in the middle of the night, I'm going to remember to rip this thing off um, so that I can see my dot. Um, and so I, uh, those are the two problems I have at the site. Um, so I came up with some solutions, uh, solution number one, the most important solution. Um, I have a, uh, flexible two piece connected, um, lens cap cover. Uh, so it's got on there, uh, little, um, little notches there and that, that uh, locks into that, that turret. So if you want to adjust uh, your windage and elevation, you can do that with this. Um, obviously the nice part is with it being flexible is that they're connected. So if one falls off, the other doesn't. Um, and they're super easy to put on and off. Uh, I don't know if you have used these before, but when you crank them down, um, it's almost like the O-ring sets in and they're really hard to get off. Um, so I uh, just press those on there. Um, Obviously, I have not IP tested these. You know, these are like, I think even potentially dunkable, where if you just dunk it in water really quick, the site is still good. Um, I doubt these will be IP66. Uh, if I were to do a test, I bet you it's maybe IP53, uh, 54, you know, something like that. Um, you know, I don't train in the rain that often. Um, this would probably, sorry, IP, those, those IP numbers. Basically, what that means is this, this is probably good, just fine for the rain. Um, but the moment you take jets of water or uh, you're dunking this underwater, I bet these uh, wouldn't work. But um, regardless, it's uh, a really cheap uh, 3D printed part. Um, I, I mean, I think the part cost is like 30 cents. Um, but I like it mostly because they're connected. They're not going to come off. Um, because they're kind of rubber and they sort of, or TPU and they, they cinch on there, um, they're not going to vibra vibrate off. Um, and they're much easier just to grab this and pull uh, this, uh, pull the string um, to get them off, as opposed to really cranking down with your fingers um, if you do need to change your windage and elevation. Um, so that was the first thing uh, that I uh, wanted to address on this site. The second thing was the lens cap. Uh, now, I'll be honest, this has been um, a good and a bad print um, and design. Um, so what it is, is, is this is a clear lens cap. Um, I'll see if I can show you this on the screen. Um, cameras normally don't pick up red dots uh, very well. By the way, I'm not muzzling myself. Um, I got the barrel behind me, but if you can see that, uh, hopefully, um, I can see the red dot through the um, through that little lens. It's a 20 thousandths thick polycarbonate lens. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of lens you, you have unless, uh, except, you know, it doesn't matter the thickness really, as long as it's there um, to protect your glass from, you know, dirt and mud and snow, whatever. Um, 
I used this for a while and liked it a lot because then I had something protecting my glass, but I could see through it. However, uh, occasionally taking it on and off, obviously your clarity is going to go down a little bit. Um, that's naturally anytime. I mean, if you added 10 layers of glass here, even if it was clear glass, uh, your clarity is going to go down. Um, from taking it on and off, I don't know if you can see this, but I have scratched the uh, the polycarbonate. You know, polycarbonate is not as strong as glass, and and so it just kind of bothered me. It, it's funny. It's like uh, scratched polycarbonate is still more clear than black silicone. Um, but I've gone back to using this, and actually just decided I'm not going to cover them. I'm just going to leave it as is. I don't think there's a big deal about it, but. If you really want to uh, see through your Romeo 5 with some sort of caps, um, this print will do the job. It would do even better if you put actual glass lenses in there. I didn't want to pay for something like that. I just cut out uh, with scissors some, some 20,000 carbonate, polycarbonate. Um, I also made an opaque one, um, just a, a basically a replacement for what comes with your site, just in case people have lost it. You know, it's really easy to make a variation like that. Um, and then lastly, I forgot to mention, uh, on the, uh, the little turret caps, I did make a solo, uh, there. So if you wanted to use your OE, if you lost one like me, um, and you wanted to use your OEM on one of the caps, um, you could just stick this one on. Obviously you're at risk when you pull it off of, of losing it and having it fall off, I guess the same as this one. Um, but if you don't like the, the connected solution and completely replacing uh, your uh, turret caps, I made a solo. Um, this is all made of, of 3D printed TPU. Um, someone might ask, why didn't you make it out of PLA? PLA prints easier. Um, to be honest, I tried a ton of uh, different prototypes here. I, I went through maybe 10 iterations uh, and the PLA parts just couldn't thread onto that really fine pitch on the turret cap. Um, I, I tried uh, a lot of different tolerances, a lot of different uh, dimensional um, interferences, and it just didn't work. And this worked great. Uh, and I love that it's connected, uh, which is something that would be really hard to do with PLA. And if you did, it probably would be fragile. Um, so uh, that is what I've done. Oh, I did want to mention that this is the North Tac P11 Ronin uh, red dot site. It is a Sig Sauer Romeo 5 clone. Um, so shake awake, you know, same battery, same features. Um, and, uh, I haven't lost the caps or anything or the, uh, the lens cover here. Uh, but I did confirm that the lens cover that I designed for the Romeo five and the turret cap covers, um, they, they fit this site as well. So, uh, basically if you have any like 20 millimeter, I think these are 20 millimeter objective lens. Uh, basically any copy of the six hour Romeo five the Siley makes an optic. Um, it's almost a complete clone of this. Um, either of these prints, any of these prints will, uh, will fit those, those clone optics as well. So, uh, if you want to know, uh, where to get the 3d CAD files, the STL files, uh, for, uh, these, these parts, um, you can go to uh, the, the YouTube competitor site, odd Y S E E. Um, I have a feeling that YouTube has been, uh, demoting videos when you mention that website name. Um, so odd Y S E E. Um, if you go there and uh, look for WTD concepts, uh, my page will show up and you'll be able to, uh, download these files. I usually release not just the STLs, but, um, uh, the step files, the original CAD files, if you want to modify them, and uh, also a read me how to print these. Um, so, you know, this is something that I needed for my optic. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I, I lost my my uh, turret cap there. Um, so if this has happened to you, um, let me know down in the comments. I'd be interested to hear if anyone's had this problem or maybe it's just me. Um, and hopefully these, uh, these designs are helpful to you. Um, for those who celebrate it, happy Easter and uh, enjoy the rest of your spring.